Hey guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. I got new Copics and hopefully some refills as well. And I just want to show you guys them as well as some tweezers that I got, but they're not exactly what you think. So I say let's get on to the video. Right, so I'm just going to open this one up and see what we have. So I ordered a number of Copics, as you can see. I also ordered refills, but they did not have all the refills that I wanted. They did have this one though, and that is one of the nicer greens that I have right now. That's why it's empty. So I wanted to show you guys how I refill my markers, and there's two different ways to refill them. And I'm going to swatch these as well. So I'm going to start with the swatches. And I have this little book. And in this book, I basically keep all my colors. And this way, when I want to know what exactly to make, I can reference this and pick my colors from here. And it's super handy. I quite like it. And I can close it so it won't be... Because Copic markers aren't light fast, they won't fade as quickly. That is the idea anyway. So let's get to it. And the reason why I got new Copics is because on my birthday, I was sent money and they basically said, buy what you want. And of course I told them, well, okay, I'm going to buy Copics then. <laughs> because as you can see, there is just a lot of colors I don't have in my collection right now. And I would really like to complete this collection someday. And I know that it's going to take a while but I will get there, slowly but surely I will get there. I'm going to just start by the colors that look the nicest. Or start with the colors that look the nicest. And for these greens, I loved how they looked on paper. So hopefully, oh sugar. Okay, these two are <laughs> in the wrong area. Oh no. But I do like how they look. They're very pretty. Okay, so we're going to fix that. By just saying... Whoopsie. 32. And for some of these, I haven't just... I haven't looked for just one of them, but sometimes they just have one in stock. They don't always have everything in stock. So where I order these from is copicshop.co.uk and for me right now that seems to be the cheapest they are on amazon too but amazon is just more expensive and i don't know the difference is quite significant so i did not really want to order from there like i'm too dutch to pay too much <laughs> oh look at that gorgeous color oh that's nice E49, dark bark. And E79, which is the next page over. So right now E77 was my darkest brown that I've had. But here, look at that E49. That is darker already than this one. So that's very pretty. Okay, so the colors are in. So that is done, quite happy with that. So we can put that aside. Okay, so I had a list as well that basically had the Copics on there that I wanted to order. And I'm missing three. I'm missing two refills. No, three refills actually. No, two refills and one Copic marker. So the Copic marker that I wanted was E13. And I do have an actual Copic marker and I do have a refill for E13 
But the problem is, is that this cap over here, I'll try and show you. You can see on this side that this cap has a crack in there and that is causing the entire marker to dry out. The entire marker is dead. Like I refilled this. There was new ink in this and it just completely dried out. So instead of refilling it over and over again and it drying out on itself because the case is broken, I wanted to buy a new Copic marker, but they were out of stock. So that's the downside. I don't know how fast they restock these things. So now that that is done, we are going to move on to refilling markers. And I refill markers there's two ways to do it. So I'll show you like one way and then I'll show you another way and something that I have. So let's unpack this first. And it comes with like a whole like leaflet with dangerous. Be careful. Don't hold this above the flame and everything because it's just ink. Um, yeah, so the first way to do this is open the chisel tip side. I always do this by the chisel tip size anyway. Then you open up your marker and you hold this at an angle. So you don't want to hold this up straight, you want to hold this up at an angle, but also not flat either. And you can see that this marker is getting really dry because it's got light patches on there. I don't know if you can see it on this camera. But what you want to do is with the refill, you just drip it on. And that is one way of doing it. Now, the other way of doing it, however, involves tweezers. And I've tried this with a few different things that I had at home and it didn't quite work. But I looked on the internet and I found that Copic sell a set of tweezers. But those tweezers are 10 euro, which like, do you want to spend 10 euro on tweezers? So my husband designed tweezers for me that I can use them in comic markers. So the only thing is you do have to hold them at the front bit to make sure that it doesn't break. And instead of 10 euro, this one is for sale for one euro 20. I will link it down in the description box below right there. If you want to download the file, you can 3D print this. So if you have access to a 3D printer at all, you can get the file for only one euro 20 and print this as many times as you like. So if it breaks, fine, print it again. That is basically what we thought. So I'm going to grab the chisel tip like this in between the head of the tweezers, like that, and then pull. So make sure you hold on tight. Yeah, I do tend to slip a little. Oh, sure. And you do get like marker all over the actual tweezer but you can rub that off with like alcohol so that's fine and then instead of dotting it on the little chisel tip here you can just stick this in and refill it that way and it's just testing out to see you know how much do you have to put in there they say like 20 or 30 drops i don't do drop wise here so this is a very easy way of overfilling your marker so do be careful but yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with this for now. Leave that there. And then the chisel tip can go back in. There you go. So see, you can very easily take it out and put it back in again. So I have some alcohol here myself. So this is super simple. It's a really easy way. Oh, sure. It's a really easy way of filling your markers. What I do tend to do though, once this is done, I leave it stand upright to make sure that the ink can also go to like both ends. My markers lie down flat in general. So I suppose if you're not using it a lot, then you can just lie them flat. And I just cleaned this with a bit of alcohol as well and it's mostly gone. So these ones are super handy. Again, make sure you don't hold it here but hold it like at this size, this angle to make sure that 
you don't break the plastic because in the end these are just plastic they're just 3d printed it's not a really strong material but it really does suit the job and you don't have to purchase it once and then you can print it all over again so that is super handy and that is also what i want to show you guys i know it's not like a really big video or anything but i thought it'd be really interesting to see or to show you my new Copics and where I get them from and how I refill them and also with the tweezers. So that is super handy. And if you want to know anything else, just give me a shout below in the description box or in the comments and I will answer them as good as I can. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.